How many times, little Nikki? You have to be careful. Thanks, Paddle Pup. See you at the race today. Morning, Ma. Oh, Paddle Pup. I was just off to Hilda's. We're baking your favorite. You're making acorn pie? Sure. We'll have something to celebrate this afternoon. But I haven't won yet. What if? My boy will do just fine. Now come on. Papa's waiting inside, and there's someone special come to visit. Uncle Higa is here. Oh, hey, Ma. Have you seen Spike and Twitch today? No, dear. They're probably up to no good, as usual. Awesome! Looks like he's going to be busy for a while. Oh, but, but, but Twitch, they said something about acorn pie. Can you forget about your stomach for five minutes, Spike? We got work to do. I'm so glad you could come. I was just saying yesterday, wasn't I, Pops? Uh huh. How long has it been? Too long. My, how you've grown since my last visit. <laughs> Too much. Now tell me, are you ready for your jungle ride today? I thought I was, but well, Twitch told me the elders are going to make it difficult. <laughs> Twitch. Difficult? How so? I, I don't know. It could be anything. Come now. I'm sure you've got nothing to worry about. It's important for me, Uncle. Winning means I'll really be part of the jungle. Just be yourself, Paddle Pop, and you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Larry? Just be yourself, son. Huh? Barney? I didn't think you were a runner. Who said anything about running? The champion's race is a special day for every one of you. A day when you're all tested against the best of your kind. But today, we witness the race of races. For there are no other lions in this jungle. Instead, young Paddle Pop must race against this. The baton... Huh? will be passed from champion to champion. And Paddle Pop must cross the finish line before it to win, to become the ultimate champion. Huh? Let the race begin! Ah! Hey, no fair! do is loosen one of these vines. Come on, give me a hand, will ya? Ow! <laughs> the monkey's closing in! Me tanking cats didn't like water. Wait, last one there is a rotten frog. See, 
you at the finish line, kitty cat. in a flat race. Uh, terrible. But these guys... <laughs> these guys are great! <laughs> Cut it out, Hal. Want to make this any easier? Oh, oh. Sorry. Place amongst us, Battle Pop. Champion of the jungle. <laughs> Quite an achievement today. I think Twitch is trying to outdo me, though. He's going for a record on eating Mama's acorn pie. 
It looks like he's had a little too much. Indeed. I've never seen him turn quite that shade of green before. I wish my real parents were here to see this. I'm sure they would be very proud. In fact, I'm sure after what you've done today, they would say it's time you had this. The Lion Amulet. It's beautiful. But, but where did you get it? Perhaps it is better if I tell you the whole story of this amulet. You remember the Coromel prophecy? You told me many times. Whenever you came to visit. Yes. Yes, I did. In an age out of time, when the mountains themselves were young, there emerged from the world's life force crystals of immense power. Among the peoples, it was the lions who first discovered them and understood their power. Using the lion crystals, they brought about peace and justice. Their kingdom was like a shining light to the world. But the prophecy warns of a darkness that will come to challenge that light. A darkness that will stop at nothing until it consumes all. It will take a prince to lead the world out of that darkness. The prophecy is true, Paddle Pop. I know it because it began to unfold 16 years ago. advisor to a great king and his beautiful queen. It was a happy time. The people were celebrating the birth of a newborn prince. Indeed. I think he has your eyes. He certainly has your mouth. And your manners, it seems. Ah, Rex, little brother, so good of you to come. Adisa, Queen Shifa. I hope you're not too tired after your journey. How goes it in the north? Oh, the usual. Cold and wet. Come, brother, come and meet your new nephew. My firstborn son and heir. Oh. Charming indeed. Aye, he'll grow to be a fine king. The pressure's now off of you, little brother. I know how you dislike matters of state. Indeed, very tiresome. As we prepared for the celebrations, we suspected nothing of the growing evil that had come to our world. A being of shadow, exactly as the prophecy had described. The Shadow Master. Tell me where the crystals of power are hidden. I demand to know where the lion crystals are. Speak, or there will be grave consequences. Do you have any idea what he's talking about? <laughs> Tourists. I'm sorry. Can't help you. <laughs> Perhaps you could... <laughs> Hello? Here comes trouble. <laughs> and those that could not help him were transformed into ghastly creatures, servants of his dark needs. Monsters! Help! Now go! Find me those crystals! Then came
him the day of the prince's naming ceremony. But while the crowd was gathering and spirits were high, evil was at work in the hidden depths of the kingdom. We were betrayed. An agent of the Shadow Master opened the secret passage to the very heart of the city. Forgive my lateness. Glad you could join us, brother. I present my son and heir, your future king. I name him Prince... Keep Shifa safe. Go to the front gate. Rally the guard. Protect the city. For the kingdom! You will be safe here. Nothing will get past me. Professor. I must give you a difficult task. Majesty, of course. Take the child. Take him away and keep him safe. But, but, but... With all my heart, I trust you to do the right thing. The Lion Amulet. It is our son's heritage. And his future. <coughs> Shifa, what are you... My place is by your side. Our son! Is safe, away from this madness. Huh? Oh. 
know her? Who is she? One of the bravest, most fearless leaders in our fight against Shadow Master. But what is she doing here? And what is that? That is the Phoenix, owned and built by Lena. And she is here that we may begin our quest to reclaim your kingdom. Huh?